Hey, it's Alex. Today I'm going to teach you how to paint white my way. It doesn't have to be the best way, but this is how I do it. So here you go. So I do a rattle can, Zenfield highlight of grey sear, then white scar. You don't have to do this. If you want to skip the grey sear and go straight to the white scar, you can. I just like to use a grey sear undercoat because I like a bit more undertone of grey in my whites, but that's just because I prefer that. It helps me break it up. Now I'm aware this is a very generic how to paint white video, there's loads on YouTube, but hopefully this one kind of helps you out today, so I appreciate it. So as I said, it's primed and now we're literally going to use one wash, a contrast wash of apothecary white. So you want to just apply this all over the model so it sinks into the recesses, but make sure not to let the wash pull in certain areas because then with contrast it goes a bit blotchy and it looks a bit keck. So just be careful, take your time and then let the contrast dry. And then we're literally going to get to the next part of this, which is dry brushing. But as you can see here on screen, this is what it looks like with the apothecary white. And now we're going to work up with the dry brushing. If you find this video helpful, by the way, that's great. A like, comment, subscription, blah, blah, blah. It's greatly appreciated. So with dry brushing, I'm recently using a bit more of dry cardboard and that because I find that helps keep the moisture in the paint compared to a tissue and it doesn't go as flaky, but use whatever you have around you. I don't expect you to have all the tools in the world. So what I will say when building up your white, for me, I did this up to two, three coats of dry brushing. So I would rather do a bit at a time, let it rest and then do it again because less is more. Because if you go in rushing, trying to make it pure white straight away, you can make it go blotchy and patchy and it just looks a bit, you know, a bit keck. As you can see on screen, this is with the full dry brushing, two to three dry brushes all over. And to me, I quite like it. It's quite white. As I said, I kind of like a slight gray undertone with my whites. So if you did it with just the white scar prime, it's probably even whiter than how mine looks because I use the gray seer undercoat. I'm now going to pick up some details to show you a finished result. I'm not a master Star Wars painter. I hope this is kind of right for the clone colors. Here you go. Hopefully you kind of like what you see. As I said, share, like, comment, all that. As I said, this is just how to paint white my way. Thank you to the people on screen. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.